I've played a lot of horror games in my time, from Outlast to Resident Evil, from third person zombies to first person mental asylums. Sometimes a horror game becomes familiar in how it presents itself and you're somewhat slightly prepared for what's next. Well in comes Ayla and I did not attain that familiar feeling at all. Every corridor was filled with unease, dread when a door was locked and I had to slowly turn around to see what might be waiting. The tense moments every time I walked past a lifeless mannequin. I was filled with constant fear of what was going to happen next. Ayla threw everything, including the kitchen sink at me. Just when I thought I started to understand what Ayla could do, it upended my expectations and I can't wait to see what else this game has in store. Ayla is an upcoming psychological horror, developed by Pulsatrix Studios, published by Fireshine Games, and making its way to Steam sometime next year. I was granted access to a short preview build to get an idea of how the game works. Ayla's recent Gamescom trailer shows the main character, a game tester, using a VR headset, a great narrative point allowing Ayla to transport us to various different, most likely or horror themed, places. In this preview demo, I awoke in a confined room, nailed to a cross, with nothing but a remote control, a TV with static, and a few locked doors. Using the remote control on the television would transport me to a different version of the room, and this is where Ayla's demo begins. Throughout this demo, I was interacting with environments, finding items to proceed further through this bleak place, from using standard horror staples such as a water valve, to cutting off fingers to open a door. Ayla interweaves this puzzle-like solving with a heavy amount of horror. Navigating these environments, I was always filled with a constant unease of what was going to happen. Ayla is also quite heavy in the gore aspect, matching the fear with a stomach-churning disgust, like ripping off nails or cutting off fingers with frighteningly horrid sound effects. This preview was short and was over within 20 minutes or so, and I couldn't gauge exactly what my purpose was in this creepy environment, apart from figuring out a way past or through whatever was halting my progress. Given Ayla's reference to virtual reality and AI, our game tester will most likely be treated to smaller short bursts of areas to test these environments, with a greater overarching story being told through these experiences. This idea alone gives great potential to the many ideas that Ayla could explore. Think Black Mirror, but with a horror aspect turned up to 11 with certain locations hinted at like a spooky forest or a miserable medieval style area. Ayla without a doubt nails the horror atmosphere. I haven't felt this scared since the PT days and we all know how terrifying that was. Every room, every turn would fill me with unease and it wasn't just cheap jump scares either. A slight whisper would set me on edge going down a corridor, in turn having me jump at my own character's heavy footsteps. Visually, Ayla looks great and really locked me in all the more. The game ran at a solid 60 FPS on high settings and I found no issues at all throughout. The sound effects are also very well done in Ayla. Room transitions are greeted with a morphed noise that makes me tense. Progressing through these environments also feels weighty and impactful. The sound effects truly are ever present throughout this horrid environment. So for the small slice that this was, I greatly enjoyed my time with it. The sound design really transports you to the gloomy environments, and the potential to explore various different places fills me with excitement or dread on what possibilities the Ayla could truly explore.